So we've done differentiation this time, we're going to do anti-differentiation. It's just straight into worked examples here. So this is the kind of question you might get. R double dot t equals 10i minus 12k. Find R dot t. So we have to do some sort of like anti-differentiation because we're moving upwards through our differentiation, up back up again. If R dot zero equals this, why do I need this bit here? Well, it's because of that plus c that you've been doing in your other anti-differentiation. Question that looks like this. Find f of x if f dash of x equals 2x and f of 0 equals 3. So if you wanted to do that, you'd say f of x equals the derivative or the antiderivative of that, which is uh, x squared plus some c value. And that c value happens if we sub we can solve it by subbing 0 into this f of 0 equals 0 squared plus c, and we know f of 0 equals 3 because we're told there. Therefore, c equals 3. Now, that c is our initial value, and the same thing's going to hold here. So let's do it. r dot t, r dot t equals. Now, um, if I anti-derive 10, I get 10t, i. And if I anti-derive negative 12, I get negative 12t, and the k there. And then we have plus, I'll call it c1, and that is our initial vector. All right, so I know that if r dot 0, so if I sub 0 in for this and 0 in for this, I will have an answer of that. And that, given it's our initial um, r dot value, that's what goes into our c1 there. So therefore, r dot t equals 10 t i minus 12 t k plus 30 i minus 20 j plus 10 k. But of course we can neaten that up a little bit because now we can group our i components so we can say 10 t uh, plus 30 and that's going to be i. Um, now we just have a negative 20j there, and then we have negative 12t and plus 10k, uh, so I'll put plus, and let's make it 10 minus 12t k. Alright, so that's r dot t. Now of course we can go one step further with this, and now we can find r with respect to t if we have some sort of initial or some other value, but we'll get to those ones in a second. All right, so that's going to be simple. R with respect to t equals anti-derive this bit. So we get uh, t squared, 10 divided by 2 is 5, um, plus 30t i. Now negative 20 is going to be negative 20t j. And then this bit here is going to be 10t minus, uh, that's going to be t squared, negative 12 divided by 2 is going to be uh, negative 6. And that's going to be k. And then don't forget your plus c. Now in this case our plus c is uh, the initial, so if I put zeros in, let's see, I put a zero there, zero there, I get zero y, I put a zero there, I get zero j, I put a zero there, I get zero k. So this is my initial value here and that's what's going to go in to there which is just simply 2k. No i's, no j's. So, I can now finish this off and say that it's r with respect to t equals 5t squared plus 30t i negative 20t j plus, and then I get a neat little quadratic here because I'm going to get 10t minus 6t squared plus that 2k which got put in here. Just 2 because k sits on the outside. All right, and there we have found the antiderivative. We've done it once and we've done it twice using these initial values for our c's. All right, let's keep this one short and sweet. Not much more to say here. Uh, just keep in mind that when you are anti-differentiating, there's always this plus c on the end. Don't forget it.